Good morning, East community. We're gonna do a one hour flow today. Come to a comfortable seated pose. If you have a blanket, you're gonna want a blanket. And if you have books to use as blocks or if you have blocks at your, at your home, feel free to grab two blocks only if you have them. Um, it'd be great to have. You can sit onto your blanket. Start with your legs today. Soles of the feet together. Knees open and wide in a bada konasana shape. And you want your feet a little bit closer towards the front part of your mat as you sit up nice and tall. Take a full deep breath in and open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Well, welcome, good morning, happy Sunday. I'm Kat, for those of you that I may not know. Um, I have something that I found, I've been, as, as you may have as well, found myself cleaning out a lot of areas in my home. And uh, this is a poem that I read a while back that really resonated with me in this moment. It's called Too Busy to Relax by Aaron Hoops. Too busy to relax, they say, complaints, excuses every day. They sound so weak, so stressed, so tired, a mundane world in which they're mired. No time to sit and just be quiet. Their minds a rush of thoughts, a riot. No chance they have to hear the sound of nature's wonder all around of birds and trees and clouds and air. Too much work, it's just not fair. This really seems quite sad to me. So much to do, no time to just be. Breathe, I say, and move a bit. Then after that, we can just sit and watch the world at its own pace. There is no rush, it's not a race. And if it were, what is the goal? Where are you going, mind, body, and soul? too busy to relax i hear these words seem like they're based in fear tired weak and too much stress how did our lives turn into such a mess we don't need to look above to find a place that's based in love and so as we work today we're going to work with this idea of really embracing our fear and fear has been pretty prevalent in most of our lives right now and it's really a sentiment that if we begin to embrace it, we can start to perhaps begin to see past it. Take your right hand and we're going to make a Janu Mudra, thumb and first finger come together to touch. And I want you to think of this almost like the Fonz where he used to say, A, like A-OK. -okay. Um, so Janu Mudra, it's going to be A-OK. -okay. And then take your opposite hand to your heart, close your eyes. Breathe in that feeling of A-OK -okay with me. Take a deep, full breath, inhale. And then as you exhale, let out any fear, worry, anxiety, perhaps doubt. Tell yourself it's going to be A-OK. -okay. Then take both hands together on top of the heart. Thread the fingertips together. Interlace the hands of the webbing. Feel yourself, fit yourself from one side to another, really feel your center, feel your middle, and then perhaps set an intention for our time together. Maybe it is letting go, surrendering fear. Maybe it's just embracing love. And then we'll open together with the sound mantra om, the sound of ah, o oh, um, followed by silence. Take a full deep breath, inhale. Oh. fill up and exhale share it out share some love with someone that might need it maybe loved ones far away maybe someone that's suffering that we may not even know and then draw your hands together Anjali Mudra touch the thumbs of the forehead of the third eye trust your own intuition blink the eyes open bow welcome come over find your hands and knees and we're gonna come into Table pose from here. Stack your shoulders on top of your wrists, hips on top of your knees. And I want you to really root down into your left hand. To really feel the place of your habits. Notice your intuition. Notice your stock. And then really shift the weight into your right hand. Our right hand is our doing hand, how we learn, how we move through life. And then fill yourself with the middle. 
from here, take both fingertips, spin them towards one another, and I want you again to interlace the hands of the webbing, making a third hand. So if you can root your pinkies down, that's the place of our heart, press down, and then start to notice where your choices are. How do we start to observe our thoughts, observe our fears? What do we choose? Choose to experience. What do we embrace? And really the asana, this yoga practice, allows us to find that choice. And then start to experience. Start to take your right hip over towards the right side. Drop your hips back like you're coming into child's. Turn your hips to the left. And then come all the way back to your center. Do that two more times on your own. Hips to the right. Turn yourself around your middle. Observe that personal place of connection where you fit yourself, where you start to hold your own space, and then switch the direction. Hips to the left. Notice your habits, your first nature. Meet yourself in the center, and then turn to the right where you experience new things. And then how do you choose? How can you start to experience yourself as you find that balance within? And then come all the way back, last round. Come back to your center. And then one more time, turn the little fingers back to face the front. Press through your middle, middle finger and then press through both hands. Press down to lift out of your shoulders. And then from here, tuck your toes, lift your hips. First down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lift your hips up. Take a slight bend into the knees and then relax your head all the way back. Take any movement that you need, bending into the knees. Maybe shaking the head out side to side. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it out. And so welcome to those that I may not know on the mat regularly. This is an opportunity to explore together. And so welcome, I invite you. Do your best. Nothing is meant to look perfect or be perfect. That's where our fear sets in. On an inhale, come forward for your plank pose. The measurement of the down dog is the measurement of your plank. So take a moment, readjust yourself, maybe step the feet back, heels back, head forward. Push your hands down to lift out of your shoulders. Drop your knees back down, come back to your table pose. Untuck your toes. And then look down at your middle fingers. I want you to turn your middle fingers to point towards your knees. Allow the front of your wrist to come forward. Make that line as shoulders draw on top of the wrist creases. And then we're going to pull our right elbow up. And then we're going to set our middle finger back to face the front. And then do that same thing with the left side. Pull your left elbow in. Turn your left finger towards the front side. Do that two more times. Just flipping your wrist. Right elbow comes in. Set the palm down. Turn your left fingertips back. And then one more time. Right hand forward. Left hand back. Move a little bit faster this time. Turn your middle fingers, really stretching out through the wrists today. We're going to be a lot onto our wrists today. So if you need any modifications, you can always come down onto your forearms instead if that feels better for you in your body. On an inhale, find your cow pose. Look forward, look up. Widen your collarbones. As you exhale, push the hands down, round through the spine. Do that two more times. Inhale to cow pose. Look forward, look out. As you exhale, tuck the chin and round the spine. Good. Inhale, slowly come back. Hands and knees, find your table pose. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward facing back, come all the way back. On an inhale, come forward for plank pose. Feel your strength here. Really tap into your strength. Heels back, head forward. And then slowly lower your knees. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Set up for a baby cobra. Take your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Spread your toes back. Really ignite your toes from the big toe to the pinky toe edge of the foot. And then squeeze your outer thighs in. On an inhale, press your hands down. Lift your chest forward and up. Baby cobra. Exhale, set your chest all the way back down. Take your hands. Make a pillow. Rest your forehead down. We're going to interlace our hand. Make that third hand again. Interlace your hands at the webbing. And this time, take your hands to the back of your head. Rest your forehead down. On an inhale, press your feet back. Start to lift your head forward and up. And then lift your head up. I want you to imagine your favorite person taking your hands, taking their hands around your shoulders, 
lifting your shoulders up, giving you that support that you need, letting go of fear that you're holding on to from your past, maybe past experiences. Where can you come into this moment, this present moment awareness? Take a breath in, exhale, set everything back down. Take your hands out of your shoulders. On an inhale, press back to child's pose. Open the hips wide. Big toes together. Shut your arms out nice and long. Rest your forehead down. Find child's pose at any time today when you need it. Any time at all. And then find a cleansing breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth. Exhale, side out through the mouth. Slowly set all the way back onto your heels. Come to your asana. And then take your right hand to your heart. Take your left hand into AOK -okay Mudra. Thumb, first finger come together to touch. Remind yourself it's going to be okay. It's like a personal memo for me right now. It's going to be okay. And then slowly, mindfully, come on your shins through your asana. Take your hands to your hips. Squeeze the outer thighs in. And then start to take your right foot. Stab your right foot forward. Take your hands. Interlace your hands again at the webbing. And then put your hands behind your head. Pull your elbows out. Really build yourself strong with your strong framework. Notice your left side where your habits are. Notice your right side where you tend to do. Where can you write the check? Where can you step out into the world? And then make your hands fit your head. Really push your head back to find yourself at the center. How do you mediate between those two things? Your feelings, your actions, your doings to find yourself in the center. And then how can you set it all together and experience it? Push down into both your heel and the ball of your foot to find your center. Take a full breath, inhale. And then as you exhale, set just your left hand down. Reach your right arm up. And then maybe give me an A-OK. -okay. Thumb and first finger come together to touch. Take a full breath, inhale. Keep turning your left rib cage over to the right side. And again, long, really long through all four sides of the torso. Can you lean your head back to find that vulnerability, that place where we fall into our habits, and then turn your heart a little bit more to the right to start to open, find your capacity to find the change, start a revolution. On an inhale, slowly look down at your right foot. Set your right hand down. We're going to lift our right leg all the way back up to a one-legged table pose. Flex through your right, right foot nice and strong. Take a full breath. Inhale. Bend your elbows. And I want you to touch your chin down. But keep your right foot flexed. <coughs> Press back up. One-legged table pose. Go for that two more times. Lean forward further than you think. Take that wrist. Touch your chin down. And then push in the hands look back up. You've got it. One more time. Elbows bend. Chin comes down. And then exhale. Push back up. Good. Slowly take your right foot, drop it behind, <laughs> drop it behind your mat, and then turn the inner arch of the foot. Take your right hand all the way up, modified Vashistasana. If you want a little bit more heat today, take both legs together. Maybe you flex the feet, lift all the way up. Good. So start to find your capacity here again. Maybe again, give yourself an A-OK. -okay. Really thread this mudra through. Can you lean your head back to explore that place of being vulnerable in the body. Hold and breathe for three. You've got two more. Last full breath, inhale. Look down and then slowly, slowly, slowly take your right hand down. Come into your plank pose. From here, take your right fingertips, turn them to the back. Take your left fingertips, turn the back. If you need to be on your knees, drop onto your knees. Look forward, lean forward, and then maybe bend the elbows lower down, chaturanga. Good, up dog, with the fingers tips back, yes, 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 flip that perspective, come back to down dog, turn your fingertips back forward, that's it, drop your knees down, hips back to heels, child's pose, sit all the way back under your heels, come back to your asana, hands to hips, come on your shins, take a big step forward, big leap of faith forward with that left foot, that's it, and then interlace your hands, I want you to go for an opposite interlacing of the webbing, opposite first finger on top to break those habits. Pull your elbows out sides of the, to the sides of the mat. And as you can lift up to the center of the forms, put your head into your hands, lean back. That's it. And then experience. Absorb into your hands. Absorb that first experience. 
where is your habit? Where is your tendency? Are your habits to drop into your fear? To sit with it? Or can you begin to observe it? Sit with it, be with it, and then set it free, let it go. Take a breath in. Exhale, set just your right hand down. Come into the lunge, twist. Reach your left hand up. Maybe you want to A-OK -okay it. Keep turning your right rib cage over towards the left side. Get your hands away from one another. So you can turn yourself a little bit more so you can revolve. Revol revolve around your center. Revol revolve around the center of your spit. Then slowly, mindfully, set your left hand back down. Here's that transition. Swing the left leg back. Flex and firm the left heel back. Look forward about six to 12 inches. Bend the elbows, touch your chin down. Press back up. Do that two more times. Elbows in, chin down. Really touch the chin down. Make a contact and then press back up. One more time. Elbows in, chin down. Exhale, press back up. That's it. Set your left foot down. Turn on the inner arch of the foot. Modify or full Bashi stops in a side plank. Maybe take that wrist today. Straighten through both legs. Flex your feet a lot if you're straightening the legs. And then see if you can really firm your outer thighs in. That's it. A-okay if you want. Take one more full breath. Inhale, you got it. Look down. Set both hands down. That's it. Come back to your plank pose. Heels back, head forward. One more time. This time start with the left hand. Turn your middle finger back. Turn your right middle finger back. Take a full breath, inhale. Knees can be dropped if you need it, lower down. Modify chaturanga. <sighs> Upward facing dog. Open your collarbone, push your lungs forward into your chest. That's it, exhale, down dog. Turn your middle fingers back to face forward. Take a full breath, in and down dog. Open, stick out your tongue, ha, <sighs> let it go. Do that again, this time with a smile. Take a breath, inhale. Stick out your tongue, make some noise, ha. <sighs> Lift your heels, bend your knees, and look forward, and then travel to the top of the mat. Maybe you step, maybe you hop, maybe you jump. Ragdoll pose, opposite hand to opposite elbow. Fit yourself into a frame. I like to bend my knees a lot. When you bend your knees, you give more space for your kidneys. Your kidneys are where we hold our fear. So allow yourself to come into that fear. Embrace it like you would a hug. Slowly release your hands all the way down. Bend your knees. Look forward or have a hold of your legs. Slide all the way up. Reach your arms up and over the head. Exhale, pull your hands down to your heart. And then open your palms, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Feet can either be together or you can step your feet hip distance. Lift your toes up. And then spread your toes from the big toe, pinky toe, press down through the center of the heel. Open your arm bone at the shoulder and then widen through your collar, collarbone. Starting on the scar A, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold, come all the way down. Uttanasana. Hands to shins, look forward six to 12 inches. If you can, step or hop back to Chaturanga. You can always do this on the knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here, three breaths. Lift your heels if you need it. Again, bend your knees. More space for the kidneys and the low back. So see if you can use this practice to release and let go of any fear that you're holding in the body. Sometimes the fear that we have doesn't ignite until we're paused, until we're sitting. So use the breath practice as your biggest advocate. Take a breath in. Open, full breath out, exhale. Take a breath, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, and then your choice, step, hop, or jump. Hands to shins, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out and fold. Rise to stand. Press your feet down, feel your effort, and then reach up to catch a little bit of grace. Fold all the way back in, fold forward, Uttanasana. Hands to shins, breathe in, look forward, look out. Step, hop, or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pause again, three breaths. Take a moment to really settle in. Use your hands to find the effort. 
use your feet to feel your tenacity. And then catch a little bit of air with your breath to find the grace. Take one more breath in. Open, exhale, let it out. Allow grace to pour over you. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and look forward. Jump, hop, or step. Hands to shin, take a big breath in. Exhale and fold. Press your feet down. Get really effortful. Reach up, catch grace, then pull grace down to your heart center. Take your palms open them for Tadasana. Give me an A OK. Thumb, first finger come together. Inhale the chair pose, Utkatasana. Shift the weight into your heels. Lift all 10 toes up. Reach your arms out. Maybe you keep A OK mudra. Press your thighs down, but keep lifting your chest up. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Hands to shins, breathe in. If you want Bakasana, feel free to take it. Hands down, maybe knees come to the back to the triceps, or maybe you just take this as an opportunity to step or hop back, Chaturanga. Notice where your tendency is. Do you pull back? Are you interested in learning something new? Where are your habits? Where can you find these practices on the mat? Starting our standing flow, inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Warrior two foot pattern, turn the back foot flat and parallel. I like to turn my big toe mound in just a little bit towards the left corner of the mat, and then push into the heel of your right foot to take your right thigh nice and parallel. Keep your back leg straight, your back knee straight, but keep pressing back into the outer edge of the back. Feel foot, keep lifting through the inner part of that left thigh. Open your arms out to a T warrior two. From here, notice if the back arm feels heavy. That's your past. Notice if your front arm is nice and straight, leading towards your future. Then where is your center? Head, your perspective. Take a full deep breath, inhale from here. As you exhale, straighten through your front leg. Turn your right foot parallel. And then take your heels in, your toes out. Reach your arms all the way up. Bend your knees. Find a goddess pose. Inhale, straighten your arms, straighten your legs. Turn your right toes back to face the front. Bend through the front knee. Really parallel that front foot as you press in the front heel for your two pose. Inhale, hands down, frame your right foot. Exhale, step back to down dog just for the first one. You can stay or if you want to flow, find a vinyasa flow, forward for plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, get your lungs forward. That's it, exhale, downward facing dog. Send your left leg to the sky. Exhale, set your left foot forward. Take your time. Reach your right arm forward, almost like you're swimming. Open up. Warrior two foot pattern. Again, allow yourself to land into this with strength. Turn your big back, big toe in just slightly. Take your front thigh parallel as you press into the front heel. That's it. And then again, notice a lot of times we're not even observant if that back hand is nice and heavy. Really take your arms nice and straight. Look forward. That's it. Straighten through your front leg. Good, and then turn your feet parallel. That's it, switch your heels in, your toes out. Reach your arms all the way up. Down for feet and dog. Again, choose to stay or flow, your choice. Forward for plank, chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breath out. We're gonna change the flow, we're gonna keep those same patterns. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Step your right foot forward, exhale. This time, reach your left hand forward, swim it around, turn to face the back. Turn to face the back of your mat. That's it, warrior two, opposite side. If you're doing a break dance in your living room now, just turn it with a smile. <laughs> Straighten through both legs. That's it, turn the feet parallel. And then switch them, heels and toes out, reach your arms up. Exhale to goddess. <sighs> Inhale, straighten your arms, straighten your legs. Warrior two to face the front. That's it. Bend, bend, bend to the front knee. And then flip your right palm for peaceful. Straight.
straighten through your front leg, Uti to Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Reach your hands away from one another. Are you okay with the top hand if you want? Take a breath, inhale. Bend through the front knee. If you have a block, maybe you grab it. Half Moon Pose, right hand to the right corner of the mat. Start with your toes, drag them in, 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 in. Lift your left leg up, 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 up. Flex through your left foot. Keep turning your right ribcage to the left. That's it. Press your right foot down. Press your right thigh back. Take one more breath. Inhale. Slowly bend through your right knee. Imagine you're warrior two. Get grounded. Come back warrior two. Inhale, hands down. Turn your right foot. Sit back this time to plank or one-legged plank if you want. Lower down, chaturanga. Touch both feet down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Again, turn your perspective. Right hand leads you, brings you up and around. You're gonna draw center two all the way to the back. If you switch, come back, meet me, where you're two to the back, that's it. Straighten through both legs. Turn your heels in, toes out, reach your arms up. That's it, exhale to goddess. Ha! Reach your arms all the way up. That's it, two to face the front. So we know that life brings us change a flip of perspective, and we've really been training for this all along. Flip your palms, reach up and back, peaceful. Triangle pose as you exhale, straighten through the front leg. I want you to look down at your left big toe, press it down, and then firm the outer left foot in. Reach the arms away from one another. Good, maybe A-OK -okay with the top hand. Remind yourself, right, it's like a personal memo. It's gonna be okay. And sometimes it's not gonna be okay, but we know that the end result is change. Take a full breath, inhale. Exhale, let the breath out. Look at your left big toe. Slowly bend, bend, bend into the left knee, and then Ardha Shandrasana, take your left hand to the outside of that, maybe you have a block. Press into your standing leg. Press your left leg down, press your left leg back, and then lift, lift, lift your back leg up. Flex firm through the right leg to get a little bit more strength and power. That's it. Take a full breath, inhale. Slowly come back to warrior two. Bend through the left knee. Set the right foot back. Warrior two, open. Are your arms in line with your ears? That's it. Drop your hands down. Reframe your left foot. Again, your choice. If you want more, maybe one-legged plank. One-legged chaturanga. Connect to the ground. Feet down. Lift your chest. Up dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. We've got one more round. Right leg up. Step your right foot forward. Left hand. Breeze your around, swim around yourself, turn to face the back of your mat, the back of your mat. Yep, you've got it. Straighten through both legs, parallel both feet, and then turn your heels in, your arms out. Reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, goddess. Reach your arms all the way up. Good, warrior two back to face the front. Bend through the front knee. Flip your palm peaceful. Straighten through your front leg, triangle pulse. That's it. Reach your hands away, A-OK -okay if you want. Breath in. This time look down, plant your left hand down. Come into a lunge twist, turn on the back ball of your left foot. Reach your right arm all the way up. Good, maybe A-OK -okay with your right hand. Keep flipping your perspective, that's it. Take a full breath, inhale. Turn on the outer edge of your foot. Maybe you come back into Vashisthasana. Maybe you want to back bend, lifting into your back heel. Slowly, slowly come all the way down. Take your right hand down, set your left foot down, and then drop your knee, drop down onto your knees. Lower all the way down onto your belly. We're gonna take a variation of a back bend this time, and this might be new for you. So we're gonna get a little bit gutsy, because when we practice, sometimes we have to practice the hard things. Come back with your hands and knees, and just for a moment, sit back. Sit back, so you can see where we're gonna move into. We're gonna make that third hand, interlacing the hands with the webbing. And we're gonna put our hands down, but when we do that, I'm gonna actually have you put your hands into your belly. So if for any reason you can't do this, you can practice just Virasana, sitting back, if that's not for you today. You can also practice traditional back bend. But we're gonna get a little bit gutsy. Take your hands down, just watch the demo first. Put your hands right, in the center of your navel, and your elbows are gonna splay up nice and wide. Take your feet and draw them together. Draw them together. Press the big toes back. 
press down to the outer edge of the pinky toe side of the foot. And then from here, really splay your elbows out to fit yourself. Press your feet back and then back bend. Lift your chest forward and up. And then yes, ugh, you get that little gutsy feeling. It takes guts to make a little bit of magic. Get out of that fear. Take a breath in. Exhale, whoo, set the forehead all the way down. Unwind the hands, press the hands down. Press straight back either to down dog, child's, or do you need it, flow. I'm gonna stay in down dog. We'll meet back, left side. Inhale your left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Reach your right arm forward, swim it up, around, switch your perspective to the back. That's it, warrior two, you've got it. Restraighten both legs, parallel both feet. That's it, heels and toes up, reach your arms up. Up, 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 up. Give me a tongue, stick it out. Goddess pose, ha! Reach up with a smile, because that's fun. <laughs> warrior two, back to face the front. I see you, I see you, good. Flip your palm peaceful. Straighten your front leg, triangle pose. Good, shape shift one pose into one another. Surrender, surrender as fast as you can. Good, look down. Try to plant your right hand all the way down. Turn on the outer edge, or press back into your right heel. Good, and then really firm your right shoulder down. Reach your left hand up, stay again, or turn into the Vashi Stasana. You've been practicing for a while, maybe you back bend. Come on to the back toes, lift your heel, reach up, come around yourself. Good, and then look down, plant your hands. Lower your knees all the way back down. Come back again, hips back to heels, sit back again. We're gonna take that pose one more time, we're gonna get a little gutsy. In order to have magic, we have to kind of get into ourselves and into our gut, into that place where we're holding all of our fear. Interlace the hands the, the way that doesn't feel as natural to you. And then take your palms, turn them down. Take your belly, press your hands directly underneath your navel. Rest your forehead down. Take your, get, again, your legs together. Spread your toes. Press your big toe down, your pinky toe down. And I want you to really squeeze your outer thighs in so there's an action of lifting your inner thighs up a little bit. Press your elbows wide to the side. Find yourself in the center. Inhale, lift your chest forward and up. That's it. Exhale, Ugh, let the chest come all the way down. Slowly. Unwind the hands, press it back again, your choice, always your choice, child's pose. Maybe a down dog, when you're ready, meet me in downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, open the mouth, exhale, let it out. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look at your hands, I want you to take your hands wide, to the widest part of the mat. We're gonna jump to a seat, look forward, take a big breath, inhale, as you exhale, cross the ankles, sit all the way down. Straighten your legs. We're gonna move into core work on our back. Come all the way down on your back. Head down, back to the shoulders down. And I want you to start with your body kanasana feet again, just like we began. Soles of feet together, knees open and nice and wide. And really turn, you can turn, grab a hold of the inner part of the thigh, turn your inner thigh to your outer thigh to get a little bit more Lower, more groundedness of pushing the knees down towards the ground and then lengthen through all four parts of the torso, the front, the back, the right, the left. On an inhale, interlace your hands behind the back of your head. Again, find that third hand, this imaginary third hand at your center where you meet yourself to be able to mediate between your feelings on your left side, between your doing on your right side, and then let's start to have the experience. On an inhale, lift your head up, pick a spot in the center of your ceiling, and then exhale, set your head down. Do that a few more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, set it down. Keep moving. Inhale, up. You've got it. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, and down. Maybe add a little smile. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. For four, three, only two. That's it. Last one, lift up. Exhale, set it down. Good. This time, option to add on a little bit if you want a little bit more. Press your feet together. Maybe you hover the heels up and off the mat. We've got 10. Lift up. Exhale, lower down. Nine. For eight. 
for seven. Keep pushing your feet together. Where are you cheating yourself? Can you push your big toe mounts? Push your pinky toe and then really push through the ball and the center of the heel. That's it. For four, three. Now we're getting Betsy. Last two. Last one. Set your head down, set your feet down. Take a full breath, inhale. Open the mouth, exhale, side out. Take your hands, interlace your hands with the webbing and then put it on the center of your chest. Draw your knees together. Really use your outer hip to draw into your inner hip. That's it. And then from here, lift your knees to tabletop, knees directly over the center of your hip. Make a 90 degree angle. Flex your feet a lot. Big toes come together, inner arch of the feet, that medial arch of the feet come together to touch. And then one more time, body kanasana, this time the knees are elevated. On an inhale, option here to lift your head and lift your shoulders. And then option to reach your hands forward. Maybe you start to push the feet out an inch and then pull them back an inch. Can you lift your head and shoulders a little bit higher for five? Four, if this is too much, just set your head and shoulders down. Last three. Use your breath, last two. Last one, push your feet up. Reach your hands out wide. Hold for five, four. Maybe start to straighten the legs. Turn your outer thighs in, straighten your legs. Last two, last one, knees to chest. Apanasana, take a big breath, inhale. Open the mouth, side out, exhale. Do that again, stick out your tongue. Take a full breath in. Stick out your tongue, side out, exhale. Draw your hands around the backs of your thighs. We're going to rock all the way up to forward bend at the top of the mat. Rolling forward for three, for two. Last one, roll all the way up. Set your feet down. Come all the way up to a forward fold. Step your feet hip distance. And I want you to really measure out hip distance from here. You can measure it by taking your right big toe, turning it to touch the inner arch of your foot. And just like me, if you're not there, you're going to know. You're going to wiggle your left foot forward. That's it. And then from here, bend, bend, bend into your knees. One more time, interlace your hands with the webbing. Push your hands down into the ground. I want you to fix your thumb inside of your big toe and your second toe. Thumb inside of the big toe and the second toe. And then really see if you can measure. This is the measurement of your inner arches of your feet. Hip distance. Take a full breath. Inhale. Splay your elbows out, 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 out. Exhale. Press into your feet. Lift your thighs up. Forward bend. Release the back of your head, the back of your neck. Bend your knees. Shift the weight into your heels. Lift all ten toes up. Sit your weight back. Chair pose. Take your hands to your heart. Chair pose. Twist to the right. You can hook right elbow or left elbow rather to the outside of your right thigh, palms together. That's it. Take a full breath. Inhale. Exhale as you twist and turn a little bit more. Maybe you touch your thumbs to your sternum to feel the center of your chest. Can you turn by looking, your, looking with your left eye up to the right? Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to chair pose. Stand up tall. Reach your arms all the way up. OMG pose, shift the weight into your right foot, set your left foot back and behind you, bend at your knees, wing your arms back, it's an up dog in the chest because OMG, sometimes life comes at you. Set your feet down, inhale, reach all the way up, exhale, come back to your chair pose. Take your hands, turn them to the left, right elbow to the outside of the left thigh, palms together. Sit back into your heels, but keep your knees pointing forward. Keep pressing your knees forward, but pressing your hips back. And then take your thumbs, again, press them into the center of your chest. Keep turning your right eye over towards the left. Revolve around yourself. Have that experience of looking all 360 degrees rather, just, rather than just in front one back. An inhale, come all the way back to your pose. Stand up tall, or Bahasasana. Here we go, OMG. Shift the weight into your left foot. Step your right foot back and behind you. There's a slight bend to that back knee and then wing your arms back. Open your chest. That's it. Where does life OMG you? Feet down, reach your arms all the way. Urdhva Hastasana. One more time. Turn to the right side. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, right foot down, left foot back. OMG pose. That's it. You've got it. Feet down, reach your arms up. Good. Turn to the left. Chair pose twist. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Shift the weight into your left foot, set your right foot back. OMG pose. Hello. Reach your arms all the way. Chair pose. 
Stand up tall, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, hands get in the heart. What did I say about those OMG moments? Yes, you may. <laughs> Reach your arms all the way up and over the head. Exhale and fold. <sighs> hands to shins, breathe in. Step or hop back, Chaturanga, then Dasana. Upward facing dog on the breath, in. Downward facing dog on the breath out. Lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Rise up, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one pose. Good, interlace your hands, the woman behind your head. Push your head back into your hands. Pull your elbows out wide to build yourself into a strong framework. Shift your weight into your right foot. Pick up your left leg, Virabhadrasana three. Good, you can keep your hands behind you. Hands can come together at the heart. Take a full deep breath, inhale, go to Sudani. <laughs> Exhale, set your left foot back, warrior one. Reach your arms all the way up. That's it, reach your hands forward and down. Step back, down dog. Option again to flow. So when life gives you those OMG moments, where can you find the joy? The joy in the imperfection, right? That's really what life is always going to give us, imperfection. Even though we want perfection, reach your left leg up. Last standing foot, step your left foot forward. Warrior one, the back foot has to ground 45 degrees. <laughs> Thanks, Leela. <laughs> reach your arms all the way up, right? I imagine most of you, too, are practicing with kids. Like, my, my home practice has not been the same. So where can we draw that insight? Push your head back into your hands. Open your elbows up. Fit yourself well into that frame. That's where we find the effort, right? For those of us that are all of a sudden hit with this fear of education for our young ones. I know that's certainly been on my mind a lot. This need to be perfect, to show up and be present when sometimes that fear creeps in. And that's challenging. Slowly shift the weight forward. Virabhadrasana three. And then yoga, this is why we really practice the balancing pose, hands to the heart if you want. Because we know that life is going to give us those OMG moments to throw us off. Set your hands down. Really feel the effort in this pose. Hands down, heels back. And then we just stay and breathe with yourself. Feeling that inner strength, really tapping into your true core. How do you make choices about what you choose to worry about, fear about, stress about? And then where's your experience to let go and set it free? Drop your knees down, child's pose. Whew. Three breaths in child's. Take a moment to yourself to recollect. Breath in. Let it go as you exhale. One more big breath, inhale. Open the mouth as you exhale. That's it. Come to a seat. We're gonna work now into Mariasana. And Mariasana is peacock. Peacock pose is this beautiful pose that really resembles the peacock. And the peacock, someone just laughed. I love that. I always, in my, in my classes, I always, give these beautiful poses, and then I always see these like, oh, these looks of trepidation. And know that you're gonna try this. You're gonna try this no matter how fearful you are, because you know you're gonna fall. In order to fall, you have to start to begin to practice, to find that magic. If, it's, if you're coming into your yoga practice, like you feel like you should show up, like, oh, I should be doing yoga, your practice isn't gonna stick around for very long for you to explore that magic. So when it feels like a should, Notice that, be aware. We're gonna practice peacock pose, Mariasana. And Mariasana is this beautiful bird that reminds us that we it actually eats poison, and that poison gets in its gut. And when it gets really gutsy, that's when it starts to find these beautiful colors within its feathers. So in order to get a little gutsy and embrace that fear and hold it in, we have to set it free, we have to let it go. We're going to come down, just watch the demo for now, unless you know it, go for it. 
We're going to use two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, I'm going to offer this with the, with the hands under the belly as well so you can stay. Um, if that's if you don't have two blocks, if you have books, you can also do this with a blanket folded in half once lengthwise, and you can also do this with a pillow underneath your thighs. Just something to give you a boundary of support underneath your thighs. I'm going to start in table pose, and I'm going to turn my middle fingers towards my knees, and I want to actually put more weight into my pinky, my pinky edge of my hand but also using my thumb and my first finger, that's the strongest part of my wrist. When I come into this, I'm gonna lean forward, look out six to 12 inches, and I'm gonna start by pushing, lifting my toes up and pushing my thighs onto the blocks. I'm gonna bend my elbows. The elbows have to pull in and into the navel, and then maybe I start to lift the toes up and off the mat for a modified Mayurasana. Drop your toes down, drop your knees down. I'm gonna give you a few moments to try that, explore that. For those of you that do not have blocks, interlace your hands, push your hands down, take your legs back, pull your elbows out. And then from here, just lift your legs. Get the feeling and the sensation of what it is to get gutsy today. Lift your legs up. Squeeze your outer thighs and lift your inner thighs up, but I want you to really press your feet back to get a little bit of that gutsy feeling. Try it for three more breaths. For two, hopefully now you're smiling if you're trying this, right? Now you can use this on your next Zoom happy hour party call. Last one. We're going to put it all together. For those of you that don't want to use blocks and want to try this, I'm going to give you the option first of Vata Konasana. Vata Konasana is a little bit easier to access within this. Knees down, same thing, turn your middle fingers towards your knees. You have to pull your elbows in, right? So if you're a woman and you have these extra gifts and blessings, you have to go around and in to the, to the navel, okay? Fingertips back. You're going to push your elbows in. I want you to touch your chin to the mat. And then we're going to find Baddha Konasana from here. Take your knees out, maybe you lift. Lowering down if you want. That's it. And then full pose, you can start to turn your middle fingers back a little bit. Big toes come together, and then maybe start to lift up. Just a little bit, hovering, lifting for five. Four, last three, two, ah, so you're already down on one, I can already sense that. Good work. <laughs> Come all the way down to a seat. Again, if you have a blanket, grab your blanket or grab something to sit on. Beautiful work. I'm gonna turn to face you now. Sit onto your blanket, that's it. Come on to the edge of your blanket if you're sitting on a blanket, and then really stretch your legs out nice and long. Press your feet forward, lift your sternum up. Take your hands back to the hands together, and then just a wrist stretch. Take your fingertips towards you, send your fingertips towards the front. One more like that, fingertips towards you, fingertips towards the front, good. And then just shake, 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 shake out your wrists. Shake, 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 shake it out. Good, take your right knee, bend your right knee into the chest. And then start to turn over to your right side. Take your right hand behind you. Push down through your right big toe. Look at a check-in to see what your left foot is doing. Can you push your left foot forward? Looks like you're pushing into an imaginary wall. Left elbow to the outside of your thigh. Maybe you look over your right shoulder as you twist. Give it an A-OK -okay with your left hand. Where are you holding on to fear? Can you twist and start to surrender it, letting it go? Take one more breath in. Exhale, full breath out. Good, turn back to face the front. Counter twist over into the left side. Take a breath in. Exhale, full breath out. Turn back to face the forward. Stretch your right leg long. Bend your left knee, set your left foot down. 
push under the ball of the left foot. That's it. And then turn to the left. Take your left hand behind you like a second spine. Press down to lift up. And then get around yourself. Maybe take your right elbow to the outside of the thigh. Give yourself an A-OK. -okay. Gaze over your left shoulder. Almost like if you're looking behind you at someone and giving them like a wink, like it's going to be A-OK. -okay. Take a breath in. Twist, let go of that fear. As best you can, use your exhale to soften, surrender, let it go. Full breath, inhale. Let this tone out with a sigh. Exhale. Come all the way back through center. That's it. Straighten through your legs. Good. Lift your torso up. And then forward bend. Forward bend at the hip. Imagine your pelvis is a wheel. Turn your wheel forward to start to surrender. Maybe the hands come to the shins. Maybe reach for the feet. Can you soften through the back of the head and the back of the neck? Take a deep breath in. Let something heavy out through the mouth. Let it go. Let it go. One more breath. Inhale. Surrender as you exhale. Hook your chin into your chest. Come all the way back up to a seat. We're going to come into Virasana for some pranayama. And if you have something to sit on, I want you to sit on two blocks. If you don't feel comfortable sitting on your shins and on your knees, sit in Sukhasana. As you come to Virasana, if you have two blocks, I want you to sit up high, a little bit higher than you might traditionally be. And take your hands to your heels. Connect your upper body to your lower body and your lower body to your upper body. So you're really making yourself into a strong frame. Close your eyes, but only if it feels comfortable for you. If you don't want to close your eyes, look down at one focal point down towards the ground. Using your imagination, draw an imaginary line from your left buttock bone to your right knee. Your left buttock bone to your right knee. Draw an imaginary line using your imagination from your right buttock bone to your left knee from your right buttock bone to your left knee. Build your frame so that you're well adjusted from the ground up. Our first nature is to hold on to our breath, hold on to our fear. I know for me, anytime I've been reading the news or seeing something, I catch myself holding my breath. That's our first nature is to hold on to fear. That's dominant through our left side of our body, our feeling side. Our second nature is to really develop our technique to regulate and to cope with how we hold our breath. That's our right side, our scholarly side, how we learn things. And our third nature is to use really this goal of breath as a constant in our own life to our advantage. This is why we practice yoga, to learn new things and then to use them. We want to be well informed. We all want joy. We all want health. We all want love. We all want a good life. That's what binds us as a community. So it binds us in this pandemic. We want to be able to live our life fully in our bodies. Begin to observe your breath. Are you holding it? Can you start to lengthen it? Breath is dialogue logic. When we breathe, we breathe with every living being. Our inhalation feeds us, and our exhalation feeds those around us. It also feeds the forest, the trees, the plants, the things that we need to live. We are interconnected as one global being. This is why we're called human beings rather than human doings. As we transition into spring, spring reminds us of change. Last week I talked about how with spring, oftentimes there's fear, because as humans we don't like change. How ironic, right, that we're in spring just as all this is happening. 
We're going to practice pranayama, the breath of the seasons now. We move through the seasons, and the seasons move around us. Keep your eyes closed as best as you can. Take a breath in. Exhale the breath out. Inhale up the front of the body to feel spring rising. Feeling its potential. Hold the breath at the top. Hold, hold, hold. Anticipate summer. Exhale down the back for fall. Allowing fall to ripen. Hold the breath out. Hold, hold, hold. As you anticipate winter, substantiating the death of winter. Do that again. Inhale fully up the front of the body for spring. Feel it rise. Hold the breath as you anticipate summer. Exhale down the back. Fall, descending, the harvest. Hold the breath out as you wait for winter to death. And then take a breath in. Let all that go as you breathe out. Allow yourself to feel well adjusted. How do you manage this change? Where can you find your own personal roots? Where can you find yourself feeling any feelings of fear? Noticing the actions to get you through those things of fear, but then also opening yourself up to be able to mediate between those two things to experience. Experience life in the present moment. Take your right hand to your heart. Take your left hand out. Give it an A-OK. -okay. Take a breath. Inhale. Open the mouth out. Exhale. Take both hands together. One last time, interlace your hands to the webbing. Fit yourself in the middle, allow yourself to feel well adjusted, feel your roots from the ground, building yourself up, and then open yourself up to your potential. Stay if you want to stay in meditation for your Shavasana. I find that to be more useful these days than Shavasana. When you're ready, lay on your back, come all the way down, find a final resting pose. You stay set up. I'm going to adjust just a little bit. As best as you can, even if you're disturbed with loved ones in the other room. Children always like to lay on you. Pets, dogs. Give yourself the commitment to stay in stillness, whether it's in meditation or if you're just laying down. Stay on your back if you're in Shavasana. If you're in meditation, feel free just to sit and listen. Letting go is incredibly difficult. No matter if we cling to worries about the future or if we keep replaying the mistakes of the past again and again in our mind, it can be quite painful when you have difficulties to move on. Our desperate attempt to hold on to the things that were familiar to us limits our capacity to experience happiness and joy in the present moment. 
Life is about continuous change. This means to us that no matter how hard we try to keep things as they are, sooner or later, we will be confronted with restless change, whether we like it or not. However, as soon as we cease our attempts to own and control the environment we are living in, we open ourselves up to new possibilities. Take a full breath in. Let all that go as you exhale. Let anything that you're holding on to about what you wish or hoped your life might look like, just let it go for a moment. Tell yourself, I am safe, I am well, I am loved. If you're on your back, bend your knees into your chest, roll to your right side, rest for a moment in fetal pose. And then join us, come all the way back to a seat. You can sit in Virasana, maybe come back to Sukhasana, joining me. And then take your hands on top of your knees, connect your lower body to your upper body, your upper body to your lower body, allow yourself to be well adjusted, fitting yourself, and then lift your heart up, forward and up, really getting yourself into your full frame. Bow the chin to the chest. Let's close the breath in the mantra om. Take a full breath, inhale. Exhale, let it out. Sound mantra om, full breath in. Oh. Thank you so much for your time and your practice. Namaste.